I want to take a look at an interesting media article that highlights the interesting and concerning parallel, um, or at least a warning, in terms of what's going on in Israel right now with Benjamin Netanyahu, the uh, prime minister's actions or planned actions in weakening the judicial power to strengthen his own and uh, the majority within parliament's power and how that could be very similar and should be a warning in what Trump could do. Um, not those exact actions, but you'll see what it outlines if he were to be reelected and with kind of his new retribution platform as it's called in this article. So Israeli chaos is a warning, as media writes, to Americans of what will happen here if Trump is reelected on his retribution platform. So it starts off with a little bit of context. Um, you can see just the massive protests against this. This is what has caused Netanyahu, Netanyahu to temporarily uh, delay the actions he was planning on taking. And uh, then it talks about how Trump is saying he is retribution of his followers and how what's going on in Israel could seem distant, but actually we should be paying attention. And then we'll pick up here. Trump has long told his supporters that his legal troubles is the result, uh, legal trouble is the result of political persecution, a message Netanyahu parroted during recent elections. In response, Trump has vowed to purge American institutions of the alleged deep state and fill them with loyalists. The plan known as Schedule F would target the Department of Justice, uh, the FBI, the Pentagon, the State Department, and other institutions that Trump and his allies believe held him back. During his first term, Jonathan Swan reported on the radical plan back in July of 2022 and noted Trump would begin his second term by removing the guardrails that restrain the presidency and gutting the various agencies that have investigated him. And this is super interesting. Look at this. On the right, you see um, Trump's post. In reality, they're not after me, they're after you, he writes. Uh, I'm just in the way. And then Netanyahu writes, There's not a, uh, they're not after me, they're after us. I'm just in their way. And it's even similar in style. Netanyahu, in a similar fashion, has taken aim at the Supreme Court. The one true check on his power as prime minister has already passed a law to help ensure he would not be removed from office if any of his corruption trials move forward. Netanyahu's government is seeking to pass additional legislation that will give the uh, Knesset, Israel's parliament, control over who sits on the Supreme Court and the power to bypass any ruling from the high court with a simple majority. Critics of Netanyahu's wider judicial overhaul argue that such a move would decimate the checks and balances in the Israeli system by resting ultimate control of the judiciary in the hands of the prime minister who already leads the unified legislative and executive uh, branches. So a super interesting parallel um, to be drawing, and I'll show you this picture one, once again, just how similar they are with very, very similar language on the memes as well. Um, but with Netanyahu's actions in Israel, attempting to shield himself if he is charged with the crime in regard to the corruption investigations from being taken out of office. He's done that successfully and then has plans to weaken the Supreme Court, which will strengthen him and uh, he would be gaining more power. Trump, he also very much wants to go after the very entities, the very institutions that are investigating him with his Schedule F um, plan and would absolutely, it's a very reasonable prediction, if he were to be elected president once again, attempt to weaken so many of these important institutions that um, serve the role as checks and balances to the presidency. Um, and that is super, super concerning for sure. And hopefully we won't have to see that in the United States because Trump hopefully won't be elected again. Um, but this retribution platform, getting back uh, at the people who he feels wronged by, and really he feels wrong by anyone who doesn't go perfectly along with his agenda or who investigates him, and it would be a very dangerous slide in the direction of what we're seeing in Israel with Netanyahu if Trump wins in 2024. Um, as we talk about 
rather often on this show, if you can imagine.